everyone to the another video on chatting application so in this video we will be uh, allowing the chat application to handle image related data also okay so with the help of gemini uh, vision pro model so uh, you know things will be same as it is like the previous uh, video only the change will be uh, you know instead of text data we will also be handling image data here okay so let's get started since the a description about the project is pretty much same which we have done in the previous video okay so let's let's write the code for it and then we can see how it is different from the previous one okay so first of all uh, like you can see i have installed the virtual environment i have my environment file with the key and then uh, logo as well as a requirement.txt okay so like i told you you can create a new environment like this uh, conda create t uh, v e n v python equal to 3.10 and by entering uh, you will be able to create your uh, virtual environment and after that what you have to do is you have to activate that virtual environment and install all this library that is needed for this application okay and post that what we will be doing is we will be uh, you know running this application once we have write the code okay so let's start writing the code so first of all we'll add all the library that uh, we will be using for this application which will be pretty much same so load all the libraries Okay, so from dot env import load dot env okay so after that let's import image so from pil import image because we also want to display the image which we have imported so after that import os and after that import streamlit as st for the ui and then let's import generative ai so import Google dot generative AI as Gen AI. Okay. Now next thing will be to configure, uh, you know, Google API. Okay. API. So to do so, first first we have to load uh, all the environment files. So load load dot env will do that. Okay. And after that we have to configure the Gen AI. So Gen AI dot configure. And here we have to pass the API key. And here we have to pass the variable name okay so get env and inside the parenthesis we have to pass the variable name which you will find here okay yeah so we have configured the Google API now next thing will be to create a function that will handle the response that we are getting from the Gemini model okay so let's create a function to load Gemini model and generate response okay so model equal to okay first define the function so def get response here we will be passing input with image okay so if so let's write a condition also first of all let's load the model so model will be gen ai dot generative model and here we have to pass gemini pro vision okay i hope um, uh, you know how to find this pro model okay so post that we have to write a if condition so if input not equal to empty then we have to give a response equal to model dot generate content and here we have to pass input comma image of zero okay and we are pretty much done now we have to also write the else condition so inside else condition we have to pass response if there is no input okay so it will handle both even if uh, uh, you know a user don't pass any input it will you know handle those circumstances also so generate and here we will pass image of one okay of zero and then we have to return response dot text okay and after that we have to again create a session to store the history okay so let's create that function to get history okay so def get session state 
and here we have to return st dot session state okay and post that let's initialize the streamlight application okay so let's uh, let's uh, first uh, initialize the session so session state equal to get session state and then if history not in session state session state dot history will be empty okay empty list so we have in initialized the uh, history uh, in, uh, i mean the session also now let's initialize the app so to initialize it we need to write uh, uh, config configuration so to configure it we have to write st dot set page config here we have to write the page title equal to gemini vision pro app okay and after that uh, we have to write the header so st dot header gemini vision app okay and after that let's create a you know input space where user can write the prompt okay so input query equal to st dot text input and here we have to pass the input with key so input key equal to input then we have uploaded file so here we will be uploading the image so st dot file uploaded and uh, here we can you know restrict different type of files also okay so choose an image so I am restricting only to three different types so type equal to jpg then jpeg and then png okay which is like the most popular uh, image extensions okay then we have um, let's um, print the image in the uh, after uploading okay let's show the image in the UI actually okay so that you get to know what this image is okay so image data will be none so we uh, let's check whether we have received any input data or not so if uploaded file is not done in that case image dot open here we have to write uploaded file okay so now we have opened the image now we have to print it so to print it we have to use st dot image function and here we have to pass the image and you can even write the caption so to write the caption I am just writing uploaded image and to make sure the alignment is correct you have to use use column width equal to true okay okay so we are done with this part as well now um, you know let's create a button create a button okay so submit equal to st dot button pass question okay now we have to also write code to you know uh, to check uh, to actually uh, see what happens when the button is clicked okay so if the button is clicked so if the button is clicked what we have to do is we have to get the response from the model okay so response equal to get Gemini so we get response and here we have to pass the you know input query that a user will give and with the image okay so input query comma image we will send now to keep the history we have to append append it okay so append the history okay so to do so what we'll do so session state dot history dot append and here we can create a dictionary so first will be query dot 
uh, which will be the image image then there will be one image which will be actual image uh, data okay and then we will have the response okay so we are done with the uh, uh, query response for history now let's write the subheader so st dot subheader will be um, vision ai okay and let's write the response so st dot write we have to pass the response here okay now hist we have kept the history but we haven't shown it okay till now so let's show that as well so display history so let's give a title subheader so st dot sub header will be history okay and after that for let's run a loop for entry session state dot history uh, let's find out what was the query so query was entry of query and then we, we should have the image also so image is entry dot get image okay so this is how we have to write for image okay now next is response response equal to entry of response okay now let's use the expander okay expander Hmm. So, get st dot expander f query f image is not none st dot image image comma caption equal to uploaded image use column with equal to true okay and after that we have to write the actual response okay so st dot write response response okay so we are done so we are done with the coding part now what we next what we have to do is we have to Yeah, we have to run it and see whether it is keeping the history as well as giving the actual output or not. Okay, so let's run this. So streamlit run app dot py. Okay, so it is running. Okay, we have some issues. So let's fix it. So it should be import. And I can also see. Uh, I haven't included the logo, so let's add the logo also. Okay, now let's refresh the page. Uh, if image is not none. Okay. Uh, response st dot write okay it should be inside okay so uh, yeah so our Gemini vision app is uh, you know uh, I mean the UI is now running uh, without any error now let's write an input and let's add an image and let's see whether it is able to answer or not and whether it is keeping the history as well or not okay so let's uh, download an image i currently do not have any image so let's download a, a food food image okay food images okay now uh, let's take an easy you know yeah this looks fine let's save it
this is like a pasta so pasta dot jpeg yeah so let's upload this image and ask question about what is in this image explain okay so let's upload that image okay so you can see uh, this is what we have downloaded now let's ask the question okay so it is saying that jpeg image file is not scriptable so we can remove the this particular thing okay now let's rerun it let's ask the question now okay response is not defined okay oops okay now let's rephrase this let me copy the question yeah now let's ask the question so you can see that this vision ai is saying this is a plate of pasta with a tomato based sauce that's why it is looking like yellowish okay so i hope that this answer your question and you can see it is even you know keeping the history as well as response okay now let's try with another food okay now i will take little bit harder one okay let's ask this one so this is like a masala dosa okay so i'm saving it as okay this is this file type will not support let's take jpeg or you know png types this will also not support dosa images yeah this is jpeg okay so dosa dot jpeg okay so we have saved that images now uh, i'll keep the okay let's remove this like i said it will handle even if we do not pass any input so let's just pass the image okay so let's pass the dosa and uh, let's ask the question okay so you will see that it will keep on you know storing the images history also it's not like that it was just doing for the image uh, text based but it will also handle this one so you can see that it is saying that this is a masala dosa and it has also given all the ingredient that you know it usually take to made it and then what is the instruction wonderful isn't it so it is taking all the so you can see now it is also taking images as a history so you can see it has also stored the response with the image okay now let's ask explain the image okay explain what is in the image okay okay so we can see that it is saying that this is a south indian breakfast dish called dosa which is which is like a uh, you know made from fermented batter or should i said that is okay so this is good yeah this is what exactly this is and you can see that it has kept the history also okay so that is what i wanted to show you okay so see you guys in the next video where we will be doing something special okay so see you guys bye bye